Hi, and welcome to today's video. Today, we've booked a static caravan through booking.com, which is a private individual's caravan that they sell then through booking.com's website. And we're visiting a place called Birchington Vale Caravan Site in Margate area of Kent. A place that's run by Park Holidays. So, we're here, just near Margate Caravan, we're going to have a look at through booking.com, see what the difference is. Let's have a look and see if it's worth it. I've not actually been inside yet, I've got the key, which the key is in a separate container. Let's go around the back. On the back of it, they have a little key container, give you a code number, which you then enter in there, and then you can get in. But I've not been in yet, so we're going to see exactly what it's like inside. Right, so what's the difference between these and if you went through the likes of Ho Seasons, Park Homes, etc? Well, the first thing that I noticed is this is a lot more homely. One thing I have noticed is that they said, and they have, left sugar, tea bags, you've got dishcloth, washing up liquid. Sort of things you need on a self-catering holiday. How about that? Nice selection of DVDs. So not only have we got a nice selection of DVDs, decent TV, fire, I would say that, uh, looking at it, there's not a fantastic difference between this and other caravans. So you've got your cups, bowls, Let's see, we've got our plates and whatnot, and again, they're not the generic white ones that you get at most places. Nice big fridge, cooker. Let's see inside, because this is always a couple of trays, decent size. So you've actually got stuff that you can use. I've been in them before where you've had one tray that barely fits. What else have we got? Got the microwave. There's a helicopter flying overhead. I don't know if you can hear that. So, all right, bits and pieces. But probably don't forget. Well, looks like they've left a few bits and pieces as well. Bin, bin bags cleaning stuff, everything you'd need in your own home. Whereas if you go to your whole seasons and whatnot, you get a basic caravan. So let me just give you a quick zoom around the living room. Not that there's it's huge or anything like that, but plenty of space for eight people to sit down. Bear in mind there's seven of us, so there's always cramped table big enough for us all to sit at and because it's that sort of table you can actually put your cuppa down you can move it and whatnot and it'd be okay for cuppas while you're watching tv whereas before if you look at our other video the table was over out of the way 
Let's go have a look in the bedrooms and see what else. Oh, we've got two cupboards here I haven't looked at. A few cupboards. Plenty of glasses. Bits and pieces. And there's your boiler. Hair dryer. Few bits and pieces, first aid kit. Furs. It looks clean. It's even got a couple of games it left up there for us to play with if it gets really bad. Hoover, mop. Fridge, cupboards, cooker, microwave. Let's go and have a look at the bedrooms. Right, one door here, which is you've got your toilet. Nothing unique there, but the toilet rolls there. So three bedrooms. I'm going to look at the first one. Nice, simple, two beds, some cupboards just above, a few ornaments there. Second one, the double bedroom. Just that feel a bit more cosy. Cupboard space. Plenty of cupboard space. I'll stand back so you can see it a bit better. That's the only trouble with the caravan, isn't it? There we go. Plenty of bedroom number three, twin beds again. Enough space for a couple of kids. Or a couple of teenagers or something. Cupboard space. A little cupboard here, is it? Or is it another toilet? Oh, that's the shower room. Let's have a look at the shower itself. Shower itself appears clean enough. Nothing rogue down there at all. Looks extremely clean and smells extremely clean. Toilet, everything you'd expect. You've got DVDs to watch. You've got games to play. The cooker has enough shelves in it to actually cook. The amount of times you've been to caravans and they've got one shelf and that barely fits the actual runners at the side. And you've got a spacious living area. Pretty similar to many, many caravans. But let me take you to the actual holiday park itself because it's all good having a good caravan but if the park itself has no amenities and you're in the middle of nowhere what are you going to do now this is run by park holidays who sell the accommodation as well and the first thing that i actually noticed is a lot of it is aimed towards owners you have an arcade there, and just a few steps further up, a laundrette, followed by a shop. The shop, like most shops on these sort of parts, are a little bit more expensive than you would do if you went the couple of miles to the local big Tesco's, etc. Now, the site itself is quite a big park. A lot of those that are on that map there are privately owned. Something that you may find quite important when you watch the end of this video. The reception area here is for park holidays, people who rent in, people who own their properties. If you're booking through booking.com, they will help you, but they're not there for that. And that little bar there is your uh, barrier for coming in at night. You've also got a swimming pool, which you pay extra for, obviously, like you do with all the amenities. And quite a reasonable sized car park. So 
while you're getting your bearings, you've got somewhere to stay. That kettle is full of lime scale. Not great. Okay, so the kettle is a disaster, I would say. Let's have a look at the bed. Right, certainly tucked in nicely. Bed bug check. Something that has to be done nowadays in all beds. One or two things on the mattress, but no mattress protector, which is a bit of a shame. Oh no, sorry, I tell a lie. There is a sort of protector on it. Just a bit of fluff. Yeah, definitely just a bit of fluff. Turn up this side. We're fine here. I don't think there's any problems with this one. Check it round in a minute. But the lime scale is a little bit excessive, I would say, on that. We'll be buying a kettle for the two nights that we're staying here. So one of the things that is more important than ever now is checking for bed bugs. There is an infestation crossing the UK. Certain places are getting more than others. The likes of Manchester are supposedly bad. Um, I can't remember the other places, but I'll put a list somewhere down below so you can actually have a read of that. But bed bugs are spreading. And if you get them on your clothes, that's it. Your house will be infested and they are almost impossible to get rid of. They are everywhere at the moment. So that's why I've done that brief test. And just by simply doing what I did then, which I'll show you again in a minute, you can look for little black dots and if you see them, they might be bed bugs. Now, bed bugs tend to live in the crevices around places. They live in the carpet. But the quickest and easiest way to see is are the spots of blood on the sheets. Are there black marks everywhere? You notice that I took that black mark off there. It was just a bit of fluff. You do get fluff. That's normal. But if you see a lot of little touches of blood, little marks, little black dots... That's when you need to be worried. And in those sort of occasions, I'd be turning around and leaving. That's how bad it can be. Okay, so that's something to be aware of. This one is nice and clean, apart from the kettle, which is one thing that... So, how do you do a bed bug check? Very simple. The first thing you do is look at the edge of the mattress and the sheets that are already on it. Let me show you what I mean. So, if you look at the sheets, this bed was made when we came here. I've untucked it as you saw a moment ago. The sheets are clean. There's no little marks all over them. That is always a sign that the place has got bed bugs if you see little dots of blood on the sheets. Same with hotels. This isn't caravans. This is everywhere. Having a mattress protector, good sign. Somebody who's thinking about things. But when you look down here, I don't think you can see, that is perfectly clean. No little black dots. If you look down here, exactly the same. No black dots, no nothing. It is clean. When you look at a bed bug infested place, this is one of the places they love to hide. Right, now at the beginning of this video, we'll, I did a basically a walk in as I walked into the place and showed you first impressions of it. But like everything in this world, first impressions aren't necessarily spot on. So now we're going to sort of do a, an end of trip coverage of what we found with stayingwithbooking.com in what is basically a private caravan, not through Ho Seasons, Haven, etc. or Dean Parks or anything like that. So go on, you tell them about... Well, it just felt, as Alan said, it's a privately owned caravan. So the first thing is there's like things up there still here. So they're like dotted about. Um, so obviously Thomas kept touching stuff. He's yeah. our five-year-old, by the way. The pots, 
I mean, I appreciate it's there, but they're all like mismatched and they were, you know, it wasn't, didn't feel clean. Um, you know, they have provided like dishcloth and so on, but that was like just so grimy to touch. And, you know, it's just, it's not where you felt really comfortable. It's, and then there's like, it's almost like they do smoke, but they're not smoking in the caravan because, the, you know, it's actually a sign up saying, please don't smoke. But obviously, because they smoke, they obviously go outside. It still smells of like that, like stale cigarettes type thing. Yeah. The, a couple of the other things that I noticed specifically, one of the things it said on the advert for it on booking.com is all covers and whatnot covered, so you didn't have to bring your own linen. <clears throat> yeah. Our eldest daughter, because there's seven of us, was sleeping on... The settees. Yeah. We've done it before and it's she been is fine. She's quite happy with that yeah. as well, isn't she? Yeah. And it does say it's an eight berth and there's seven of us, so it should be fine. Mm. However, none of these settees actually convert into a bed. I've checked no, and they can't. don't. So that's pushing it on the side a little bit, but never mind. But they didn't provide her any sheets, pillows. They provided no, it for everybody else. A fitted sheet. Yeah, one Which fitted sheet. No She's been sleeping under our coats for the last couple of nights. Um, the, to be fair to them, they made our beds. Everybody's bed was made. Yeah. But I specifically sent an, e an email to them reminding them that there were seven of us staying. Mm. And yet they didn't. Another thing that uh, was a little bit, shall I say, not what I expected was the fact that it said on there, coffee tea, sugar, milk provided for your arrival. Well, yes, they were. However, it was a couple of tea bags that were left in the bottom of a box, half a bottle of used milk, some sugar somewhere in a cupboard from a packet that, you know, when you get a packet of sugar and it's the last dregs are in the bottom like that, uh, a coffee pot with some coffee of uh, a brand that you'd never heard of, but again, well and truly used. And it just felt like you were walking into somebody else's house. Yeah. And you shouldn't have been there. No, we it, to go and buy a kettle, didn't we? Yeah. The, the other thing that we have mentioned earlier on the video is how bad the kettle was for Limescale. Now, to be fair, you're doing this as a business. You're renting it out. It shouldn't be like that, in my personal no. opinion. In my opinion, Hoe Seasons have it... Yes, Hoe Seasons, and you can have a look at our video on Hoe Seasons... There'll be a link to it above my head somewhere. Um, Hose Seasons have it clean, tidy. There's nothing extra there. And yes, you have to pay extra for linen. Yeah. But they did it. You know, everything was what you expected. With this, it's been sort of... Well, we were only here for two nights, so it was pointless as going through the rigmarole. We arrived late. We're leaving... Well, we've got to be out... By 10 o'clock yeah, in the morning. That's the yeah standard thing though. yeah but uh the other th there was one other thing that i think anybody coming to this particular particular camp ought to be aware of a lot of the people here are residents yeah and they are rude yeah extremely rude this is their land why are we here sort of feeling behind it i'll give you two examples of well, what I'll occurred to one. them go on then you do the one the one last night it was so f you have to like use a key fob to get the barrier to go up after a certain time but to do it it's like on the other side of the road so you have to drive on like onto the other side press the thing and it'll go up then i'll you know you've got to then get under fear of it coming back down again and then go back onto like your side of the road and this lady stopped oh oh she went and I was like, you're all right. Yeah, uh, I was just wondering why your window was down. Like, okay. <laughs> and uh, so Alan said, I've just done the key, for, you know, the gate. Right. Well, then you're supposed to go on the other side of the road. And it's like, we have. You can see we're on the right side. You know, it just, you know, and she just went off laughing. It was just like a totally pointless thing. She didn't need it to stop. No. <laughs> Basically, we'd done what we should have done. Yeah. Simple as that. Uh, the other occasion, uh, the road just next to us, as I said, it's a residential area, mm. and you've got to remember this. 
um, there was an ambulance outside somebody's caravan. As you can imagine, in these sort of places, there's a lot of elderly people here as well. Yeah. And it basically blocked the road. So they were guiding everybody yeah, yeah. the other way around, which we went. We got verbal abuse about that as well. Yeah, we, we like Alan, put the window down to say there was an ambulance. It's a one-way sister before we could even say. And then it was like when Alan said there is an ambulance. Oh, right. And no, no, oh, sorry, you know, just put it your head just, off. <laughs> I've been, we've been to a number of caravan places. We've been to Wales. We've been to Lincolnshire. We've been all over we've the place. We've been a, like, in France as well, haven't we? We've yeah. Been. This is the first time we've come across such a complete and utter place where we would never consider coming back to. No, it, well, not in here. Well, I think the camp itself. The other thing is as well, it, yes, it's got entertainment place here. It's got a swimming pool and whatnot. But we noticed last night a lot of the locals use it. Yeah. Right? Last night they must have had some Halloween party on or something like that. I, and, I think as well from what they were saying that they're on half term this week, mm. so that's probably part of it. But you get the feeling, first of all, you have to pay quite a bit to go into them on top of your caravan park price. Yeah. And second of all, the thing that I get the feeling is they feel it's their place, not this is yours. where they live. Yeah. Um, it just, in my opinion, it just doesn't feel comfortable no, being it's here. Someone that's you know, they obviously own this, they're not going to be in it, like, all the time, so they'll book, which, you know, if I had one of these, I'd do that, I'd book it out whenever I can, you know. Mm. But the I just think, you know, I'm just like, now, just looking at the car, I can see around the edge, just how filthy the carpet is. The other thing can to point, see? yeah, yeah, just... the other point to point out is park holidays, not park dean holidays, park holidays operate this park. So you could go onto the park holidays caravan holiday site and book this park and that would be normal but the caravans appear identical mm. and they are so close together i mean yeah, we're literally sure. talking uh the space to reverse a car between each caravan and open the doors just there's enough space to do it don't get me wrong you can do it it's fine but it is tight yeah, it's got... not good. Whereas others, like for example, the whole seasons one, yes, there wasn't much space, but there was parking spaces nearby. But if we had pulled the car in between the caravans, there would have been more space, and that we felt was a cramped site. Yeah, this is really we've got a small sp spot of land. Let's squeeze as many in as possible, and you are overlooked by everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not it's just right. Anything else we should say? Really, I think that covers it, doesn't it? Well, it was the cooker top, wasn't it? it oh, yeah, the disastrous. cooker didn't. The cooker, the burners were firing fire out left, right, and centre. Yeah, there was one that looks like it's got a piece missing. I don't know how that's happened. Yeah, Just... uh, the door into an hour room has a hole in it. Yeah, where it looks it's been like melted. Been, yeah, melted. Yeah. But yet yeah, the heaters, whether they've had something else of their own, I don't know, but there is a heater underneath the wardrobe, which they, mm. they were quite good. When you put the heat on, it did heat because obviously, with it being. October, it's not that warm yeah. now, is it? But... No. I mean, just so you know, this is the very last few days of October that we're in now. We yeah, were, we're going. The 26th. Yeah, the 26th of <laughs> October. So that's to give you a context of it. It did feel like we were, we had to come down to Dover. This yeah. was the closest place that we could get that, that wasn't, was affordable. Yeah, because a lot of sites have closed, obviously, for the winter months. And uh, this was basically. I'll tell you now exactly how much it was. It was £210 for two nights, which when you compare to how much we paid for middle of summer in Skegness mm. area, uh, Ingmalls, which was just over 500 Anyway. Yeah. So basically, I think that... Yeah, so compared to you say, just say that bit again. Compared, compared to Ingmalls, where we paid just over 500 I think it was 550 and you can check the video yeah, yourselves. And then what would... And then we had to come back one night. What did we, we booked it for? Was it exactly a week? Yeah, we had a week there. Yeah, and that Saturday was 550 yeah. in the peak season in uh, August. Mm. Whereas this is October, and not then, peak season by any means, and yeah. we're paying more per night. And it wasn't something that we had planned to do. We, you know, we thought mm. we'd get back from Skegness and that was it. You know, holiday was next year. 
which this isn't a holiday either, is it? No, no. Away, but we've we've had to come down for personal reasons. But yeah. uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little review of it. Yeah. Um, do comment, like, and if you've got time and you enjoy this sort of thing, please subscribe. That is a thing that YouTube look at, and uh, see you on the next video. I think there's one coming up that you're going to enjoy. Bye. Bye.